Okay folks, the update about this garden. This is the third video of this garden. And as I said, I'm going to plant cabbage in here. Unfortunately, my Napa cabbage is uh, burnt by the sun because we're having like heat wave here. So, 96 97 today is 101 that's why i'm so early in this garden and i water them right away just this plot the other the other plot is not yet because what happened is i have so little time to work on the garden and it's so hot but for some reason my napa cabbage is burning just like that you see it that's why i transplanted it in here but the weeds look at the weeds there they are thriving that's why i said wow this is something else you know but what happened to me is the cabbage the regular cabbage because this is napa cabbage the regular cabbage all i have is 22 22 plants and i have a leftover of my eggplant the other week actually a week now because i planted it monday this this uh, um, eggplant and i still have some leftover and i put it in here I put it in here I got 13 plants here and then here the cabbage the leftover cabbage also that I planted which died before is right here I have 22 here 22 plants that I put it in here now I have a little pony something that i will tell you because i just planted this eggplant last week although when i planted this eggplant it is already overgrown now i just saw it yesterday it already has fruit and there is flowers and most of them is flowering now look right there that's a flower right there there's a flower right there there's a flower they are already flowering and if you see the ground is, is still a little wet because i just uh, watered them and because as I said, the prediction today is 101 in my area. So, I came here very early, like 5 o'clock, prepare, prepare this plot and planted the, everything. Cabbage, eggplant, leftover eggplant, and my Napa cabbage that I transplanted from the other area because, as I said, in the sun it's burning the leaves are burning so i tried to transplant it in here maybe it's really like napa cabbage is not for summer season well we'll see if it dies if it dies i'll try another because uh, i still have some leftover eggplant here look this is the leftover eggplant and look it already has flower also and it's still like a seedling see now if that napa cabbage still die within a week or three to three days to seven days i will transplant this because i noticed that the eggplant is very very high heat tolerant so 
I will try this. The problem is my plan is you know to sell the excess from our consumption. But if I have too much of one thing like this, too much of eggplant and very little cabbage, uh, doesn't sound right to me if I want to sell it. It's it's imbalance. So, well, since I'm restarting this gardening, little by little, what I'm going to do next year is one plot is cabbage, one plot is uh, um, eggplant, one plot is onion, one plant is okra, one plant is uh, tomatoes, one plant is uh, um, green beans. So, because how many plots I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 15 plots uh, you won't see it on the uh, on, uh, at the other side of that uh, trellis but but that one is a what you call this chinese okra in my country we call it patola so and i'm already harvesting it uh, you know just for uh, for uh, family consumption but right there on the other side there, what I planted is um, mustard, mustard leaf. Uh, you know, um, what they call that here, uh, Florida broadleaf mustard, mustard greens. But in, in my country, in the Philippines, it's plain mustasa. So, and I'm already harvesting that too. That's good for soup for stir fry and uh, for fermenting eating as it is you know there's so many things the only thing that I'm doing with this is number one so I have to minimize my food expense the second one is if I have too much I will try to sell it that's the thing now in the future if people becomes used of my garden with different vegetable, they might ask me every single season that whatever you have, let us know. Then maybe we will buy it. That is my plan. So that's it for today, folks. And uh, I will update you next time. Thank you very much for watching. And God bless us all. Bye.